Hello and welcome everyone. This is your guide, Ryan Phoenix, telling you climb back on board the bus as we continue our tour of Soul Blazer. Last time, we had a rather uneventful episode there, did a lot of searching through the, the village there to see all the souls that we unlocked and everything there. Not a whole lot of action, so this time we're going to make sure it's action packed as we go into the depths of the Temple of Light. No, you know what? I, I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. Raph, take me back. Wait, wait. We came from that way. Uh, but over here, we have another gem. Uh, get away from me. Double butterfly. And if we talk to this gem, I'm watching over the world. Please, take this. Phoenix receives experience. Uh, about 150 experience there, so nice. Very nice. And no, uh, we're actually just going to stay here. I just want to go ahead and show that off. If you got back on the raft, then it'll take you over to that gem there, that jewel. But now, seriously, onward into the Temple of Light. So, how's everybody doing today? Uh, not doing too bad there. Uh, it's gonna be Friday when this goes up there, so happy Friday, everybody out there. Hope they have a big weekend plan. Uh, me, not so much. <laughs> uh, just a weekend at home there, but, uh, you know, you gotta enjoy the, the downtime as much as you enjoy the exciting times there. Right? Right. Alright, took down those Liz men like, like they were nothing. And which they are compared to us. That's right. And now, on to some ghost busting. Alright. We ain't afraid of no ghosts. And more lizard men. Huzzah. <laughs> uh, remind me a little bit of the, the lizard from Spider Man there. Uh, I still haven't still haven't watched the latest Spider Man movie there, if you can believe that. I don't go to the movies very often. So, can't tell you how, how that one looks really, but. Uh, I'm sure that's something that most of you that are watching have seen it, so uh, you you can tell me <laughs> what you think of the latest Spider-Man adventure there. And uh, dang it, uh, I know I mentioned this before there, but who thought that lizard men should have the ability to teleport there? That just that doesn't make make a whole lot of sense to me. Oh uh, well, they go down easy enough there. Just try to stay at a diagonal of them since they can only travel in the four cardinal directions. And we have this little monster lair there, which is for these guys here, which I didn't really mention as we went past them there. They're more of the invincible guys there. You can't can't do anything about them but stun them for now. For now. We'll have to let them live. As we move onward to the Human Torch here. <laughs> uh, how many superhero references can we make in one episode? Let's go ahead and give it a shot there, see how many we can. <laughs> uh... Not much of the Fantastic Four fan either there. Like, like I really like Spider-Man, but eh, not so much Fantastic Four. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I never gave him a chance. Oh, uh, well. Uh, what can we compare the ghost to there? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me there. Uh, that coughed up a lung there. Uh, uh, but yeah, what can we compare those ghosts to there? Like, uh, maybe... Uh, Ghost Rider, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> kind of. Kind of there. Alright, just about done with this layer here. Like I said before, just stay at a diagonal when they first appear and then they can't get to you and then just chase after them. You should be able to take them down in one or two, one or two rounds of them reappearing. Yeah, you can't attack them while they're in that half phased uh, state. Alright. Uh, no souls yet here, just get rid of all these. Oh, level up, hooray! <laughs> yeah, getting rid of all these uh, laser barriers here. They're pretty high tech. Pretty high tech stuff there, but you know, as they say, ancient technology is always better than present day technology. But, uh, well, I don't know how present day this is here, so. <laughs> Alright, take out more of the human torch one of these here. And they're no problem either there. Uh, they don't really show it off, but they can shoot fire at you. Uh, let's look up here first before we continue on down and take out some more firemen here. Flame guys, little flamers here. Again, no problem. Alright, we were found a soul this time and we released another squirrel. Hooray! Wonder if this one's carrying a sword there. <laughs> Who knows? Could be. Ah, darn it. Walked right into that. Alright, but now we can go ahead and head down here. And unlock this one. If I get the step on it, there we go. Uh, hmm. Now, how do we unlock this one? 
Oh, well, you gotta lure all these ghosts over here and take them down. And that'll open that up. And now we got access to these stairs here. Let's head down into the depths, shall we? Ooh, wow. That into the depths is right there. I thought that this was, this was the Shrine of Light here, the Temple of Light, but man, there's a rather dark place there. Good thing we got our, our trusty mole friend there, the Soul of... Was it Soul of Light? Yep, Soul of Light there, to help guide our way. Uh, let's head down here first. Uh, nope, nothing down that way. Uh, actually, yeah, if you go up into this top right corner there, yeah, that is the enemy lair. And, yeah, when you come up near them there, they're gonna light up there as they shoot monsters out at you. So, so that's how you can tell when you're coming up on one. Oh, wow, well, not, not having too great of luck here, getting the boy in the hits there. Uh, good thing I got that level up to fill up my HP, though. Hooray for that. Uh, avoid that, that demon sun there. Uh, sorry, you're, you're still no... No match for the sun from Super Mario Bros. 3 there. The annoyance of that sun there. Ugh. <laughs> I'm sure they ain't, but have you that played that know, know my pain, feel my pain. <laughs> Alright, more of the magician lizard men here. Uh, not really a whole lot whole lot new here in this place. But, uh, well, that's pretty well to be expected there. Uh, but these guys come out and not rapid fire there, but come out more than one at a time, so I gotta keep keep an eye on that. And what do we release here? We release a crocodile. Whose sole purpose in life is to be a bridge and walked upon by others. Sad. <laughs> that poor crocodile. Should give him a card or something like that and say, Sorry that we walk all over you there, but thanks for the help. <laughs> Alright, moving right along here. Oh, now we got two layers at once. Uh, there's a pretty good opportunity to show this off here. Let me get a good line up here. And bam! There's our new arrow of light magic. Shoots in four directions there. Pretty well takes out any monster in this area in one hit. So, definitely nice to, nice to have there. Alright, uh, come on. I'm tired of waiting for you. I don't want to hit that monster lair yet, not until I take out the disappearing lizards, because if I did that, then the lair would completely reset on how many monsters it would spawn, so that's not good. Alright, first things first, what do we have here? We released a mole. Uh, another hole in Wait, what? Huh, that, that mole's not in the hole in the ground there. That's rather odd, rather suspicious. Alright, but what do we release here? We release a blue tile, and if you remember there, that'll take us to the save point. But I just want to go ahead and go up just a little bit further before we go back to the save point. And bust some more ghosts here. And take them down, no problem. Alright. Now if we continue on up here, I'm pretty sure that we're getting to the end of this place here. Let's take... Ah, there's the little entrance there. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Uh, the little... Skulls in the side, if that doesn't tell you anything, tell you if there's a boss coming out, no it would, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go back down to the save point here. And head back to the village there, see if these new souls that we released have anything good, any any useful items for us to help us on a journey here. Because that's the real the purpose of life, if you will, for these video game characters is just to help us out the hero. And they should be thankful that they get to do that. Oh, let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Mole here. Oh, th so this is Monmo. My name is Monmo, the Mole. This place is so bright I cannot see. Oh, well, you, you poor thing. Would you please uh, lead me to my house? I will follow you. Please take to the hole that leads to my home. Alright, talk to me while I'm standing in the right place. Okay, so this Mole will slowly follow behind us there, and we gotta take it to its rightful home here, and if I, I'm thinking right, I think that's this hole here. Ah, uh, well, oh, uh, apparently, just went right in there, huh, maybe that wasn't the right place. Uh, talk to you again here, yeah, I'm on, though. 
Uh, take you out, take you to your home there. Okay, yeah, I think I can handle that. All right, let's try this again here. That uh, reminds me of the little escort quest in uh, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past with the old man in Death Mountain. Okay, uh, well, maybe it isn't this hole. Let's go ahead and try the second hole and see if see if that's right. Moved right off of it there. Hmm, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, is this not it either? Uh, well, alright, one last hole. Oh, okay. I'll give you a present. Could you wait here? Okay. Tick tock, tick tock. Huh. Well, it's taking its good sweet time. Let's go in after it. Uh, well. Uh, this mole was here before. Where's where the other mole go? What? Did a female mole come by here? No, nope. I'm living here alone. Oh, I think I've heard this story. There once was a cute female mole living around here. Ah, oh, well, okay, so Mama was a girl there, just to clarify. <laughs> well, she was taken away by evil creatures. I'm scared. I'm scared. Alright, and in this chest that is mysteriously appeared here, we find a mole's ribbon. Alright. Now, wasn't there somebody that was talking about if we ever found anything belonging to Monmo to bring it to him? So, yeah, we'll go ahead and go back here and let's go ahead and equip that mole's ribbon. And then we'll talk to Mr. Mole here. Th that's Monmo's ribbon. Th Alright, I'll move if you give that to me. Wait, what? Oh man, this is freaky there. So many animal ghosts run, roaming around here. I didn't know that he was a ghost. Both of us fell in love with Monmo. One day, Monmo was captured by evil. He tried to rescue her, but never came back. Suddenly, he appeared. I had no idea what happened to him. Anyways, take this bracelet and revive Greenwood. I know those two moles would have liked to, to live here in peace. Phoenix received the shield bracelet. All right, that's a nice little item here. We're gonna go ahead and put that on right now. It's in your items menu, and it'll reduce all damage that you take by half. Very nice to have. So, uh, just gotta keep an eye on my HP there, just in case there, if I ever need to switch over to an herb real quick. And is it over on this side that we want to go next? No. <laughs> oh well, we don't really need to travel through the mole holes here. I'm. Uh, I actually want to go back over here and talk to Mr. Deer here. Okay, yeah, Mr. Crocodile, just gonna walk right over you. Follow you? No. Alright, if you say so. Not gonna lead me to an outhouse, are ya? I'm still scraping dog droppings off my shoes here. Stand back and watch. Uh, Alright. Bam. Bam. Oh, hey, wow. Nicely done. What did you think? I hope this helped. Yeah, yeah, uh, well, well, we'll see. <laughs> Master's emblems are all over the world. They're fairly difficult to find. Collect all eight emblems. Will not require... Uh, wait, if you collect, uh, collect all eight emblems, you will not require gems to cast magic. Hooray! This will make fighting much easier. If you collect all eight, bring them to me. Alright, sorry about that interruption there. Uh, but yes, if we collect all eight of the Master's Emblems, then we can come back and talk to the Julie here, and she'll give us something that'll allow us to cast magic without using gems. Huzzah! Alright, but that's all the time that we have for today's episode of Soul Laser. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it there. Next time, we'll go ahead and finish talking to all the souls here, and we'll wrap things up in the green wood. Till then, take care.